Well, hello again. This is Jack Sheffield, Jack the Exam Guy. We're going to be talking about payroll. Yes, we all want to get paid. <clears throat> okay, so there was a snafu. You may remember me telling you about this already. There was a snafu in the printing of the contractor's manual, and that affects us. The reason it affects us is because the first printing had the tax tables, but it did not have an index. So they decided they would reprint it. And when they reprinted it, they had the index, but they forgot the tax tables. So since they don't have the tax tables possibly in the contractor's manual that you have, we have been told that they, in the at least in the construction exams, they won't, um, you won't have to actually access the tax tables. However, I have gotten some information, some feedback from some people that took the electrical exam. And in that case, they did have an, uh, an excerpt, an attachment that you could look at and, uh, and, it, and they had the tax table. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that, um, but let's move along real quick as we go through. Let's talk some terms. Gross pay, uh, that's before taxes. Net pay, that's after the taxes come out. That's what they take home. They Sometimes they call it take-home pay, right? Federal income tax, FIT. Okay, that is, you know, that's what comes from those tax tables I was talking about. Um, Social Security is 6.2%. Medicare is 1.45. Those get deducted out of the check as well as your federal income tax. And you add those together. And that's 7.65%, and that's what they call FICA, Federal Insurance Contributions Act, I believe is what they call that. That's what that stands for. Now, you also have some other associated things like uh, what they call FUDA, Federal Unemployment Tax. Then you have, in Florida, you have a state unemployment tax. And then they also talk about this term reemployment. I just want you to realize that that is the same term as unemployment. All right, so if you see reemployment, that means unemployment as well. Remember, unemployment taxes do not get deducted out of the paycheck. They are paid by the employer behind the scenes. The you know, only ones that we're going to have to worry about uh, for uh, your exam or your federal income taxes, which I'm going to give those to you, and they should be giving those to you on the construction exams, maybe not the electrical. Um, <clears throat> and and you have to know this, that the 7.65, I would have this written somewhere. It is in Chapter 3 of the Florida Contractors Manual, by the way. And it's also in the, uh, well, chapter, the circular E is in uh, Chapter 3 as well. So 7.65%, that's these two added together, your Social Security and your Medicare, okay? So here we go. That's got my little pointer out here. So 6.2 plus 1.45 equals 7.65. All right, enough of that. All right, <clears throat> once again, you got to know well, overtime is a one and a half times the regular rate or the hourly rate, possibly. We all know that, possibly. Uh, each work week stands alone. Okay, so a lot of people are paid every two weeks. They're paid what they call bi-weekly. Well, if you work, say, 40 hour, 45 hours in one week and 35 hours the next week, in that pay period, it averages 80 hours. Do you owe them overtime? And the answer is yes, because the each work week stands alone is the concept. All right? <clears throat> so... No averaging over those two weeks. All right, so always remember two deductions, your federal income tax and your Medicare and Social Security, which is called FICA. And what percentage is that? Do you know? I hope you know, 7.65%. Federal income tax, once again, comes off the tables. All right, so we're going to move along. And we've got a little sample question here. I'd like for you to hit the pause button and see if you can figure it out. And we want to know what the take home pay is going to be. They make 20 bucks an hour, work 50 hours for the week. Of course, they're paid weekly. Federal income tax is $60 uh, for this particular week. And we want to know what the take home pay is. So hit the uh, pause button, come on back. And here we go. So we had. 
um, 20, we had 40 hours at 20, we had the overtime, um, 10 hours at $30, time and a half, we got $1,100 for our uh, gross pay. So we figured out our FICA at 7.65% of that $1,100, $84.15. And the federal income tax is $60. And so we subtracted both of those from our $1,100 and we got $955.85. Hopefully you got that. Remember, if you're, when, you, when you, you don't deduct the federal income tax first and then figure FICA, everything gets figured off the gross pay. Very important. Okay, so let's move along. Another sample question. So what I suggest you do is you um, hit the pause button and then come on back and see if you got it right. Okay, for this one, um, the employee made 25 an hour. He's paid every two weeks, bi-weekly, 45 hours the first week, 35 hours the second week of the pay period. We know he's going to get um, <clears throat> five hours of overtime, right? Okay, now we're told here the federal income tax is 180. They're giving us that. And we want to know what the take home pay is. So here we go. We've got um, $25 at 75 hours. All right. The other five hours is at time and a half. Now there's different ways to figure this. And if you figured it out a different way, that's fine as long as you got 2062 dollars and 50 cents for the gross pay all right then we get our fica at 157.78 we get our federal income tax we were given that at 180 and we take our gross pay minus our fica minus our federal income tax and we get our net pay of 17.24.22 okay hopefully you got that right it's not that hard you just have to remember the two things now Let's see what we have here. This is what is not in one of the printings of the contractor's manual. This is in the circular E. If you wanted to get a copy of the circular E, you can uh, and get more familiar with it. Now, here's what's a little bit tricky. And once again, I have gotten some feedback from some people that have taken the electrical exam. And they say that this is an attachment. This is a, um, you know, they, they provide this for you and you can click on it and you can, and you can, uh, you can get the, t uh, the amount of the federal income tax. So what do you have to know? Well, they're going to give you the, um, they're going to give you the marital status. This particular page is for people that are single. All right. If they're single and married is the only two that they recognize with the IRS right now. So you'll have to make sure that your, whatever table that you're working with matches up with the marital status. And then you've got the pay period, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, semi-monthly, whatever they tell you in the question, you got to make sure you match up the payroll period and you got to make sure you uh, match up the marital status. Then you go down to this column, the left-hand two columns, and you have to find it's going to be uh, at least this this number, but not more than this number, but less than this number. So you got a range here. Whatever range your gross pay falls in, you're going to use that particular line, okay, that row, and then you're going to line it up with however this is the number of dependents up here. Okay, the number of dependents. So if the person is zero, one, make sure you realize there's a zero there. Zero, one, two, three, three dependents come down, line it up with your pay, and so forth, and there you go. It's, it's, they're pretty easy to use, but you do have to make sure. It's easy to be on the wrong page and think you're on the right page, too. Make sure that your uh, marital status lines up, your uh, pay period lines up. You come over here on the left-hand column get your, uh, your, your, your pay period, or not your pay period, but your, your, your amount paid, your gross pay, and then you follow that row along, match it up with the uh, number of dependents, and you get the federal income tax. But remember, you've got two things, okay? You've got, you've got your federal income tax, and you have your FICA, and you have to know that. They're not going to tell you this. And then you've got your food and suda that you're not deducted. So you may get a question out there where they give you all this stuff and then they say, what's the, what's the net pay? And guess what? 
Um, they're not going to tell you that you're not supposed to deduct the food in SUDA. They're just going to let you do that, and you might be end up taking this exam again. You don't want to do that. So make sure you deduct federal income tax, FICA from the gross pay, get your take home pay. Remember, each work week stands alone. You got to pay that. Anything over 40 hours in the work week, you got to pay time and a half. All right, this has been Jack Sheffield, Jack the exam guy, helping you get through these. Uh, these tricky little things that are on the, uh, the, the contractor's exams, and I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your business. Good luck with it. Call me anytime, by the way, 904-755-4111.